Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're going to see polar opposites in terms of philosophies in this game. And when you want to pass the ball all the time, move quickly, sometimes facing a team that's based in a ground-oriented time of possession attack can be very frustrating. You get antsy. You get too eager to make plays. Can they maintain their concentration if they don't get the ball as often as they're used to? That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Washington State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Duckett takes it from the six. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Right. Decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance at least shutting him down. Man open, incomplete. Number 22, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it's it second and ten. ten. Ball on the 30. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. Picked up a yard of any. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Really a nicely thrown ball, and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. bring him down right around the 46 yard line calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush so if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot this is one way to get them out of that here comes the pressure lost the ball Bumble. brought down the 49. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. After a decent pickup. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and six. Double tight, double tight. Two down, two down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Tackle at the 40-yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. Hey, hey, hey. 
He's hit and taken down. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From the 32-yard line, second down. They'll drop him for a loss. Oregon's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. This is the 11th play of this drive. I got him. So he's the mic. Here go. Here go. He flings it. Complete. What a catch. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. He's got a cannon for an arm, and he's also got the confidence and desire to win. Those can be infectious qualities. He makes his teammates better through his skill and his leadership. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for Oklahoma State, they've now dropped three in a row. The Jayhawks win it by 19 elsewhere. The Sooners come into the game ranked 14th in the nation. The Sooners strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. Oklahoma has the edge 10-0. Alright, thanks Reese. Back to the live action here. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. First down. just gets rid of it. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Caught out in the open. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. Anderson makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He fires. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. First down. to that quickly. Tackle made around the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Fires that quickly incomplete. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. They're at the eight. Second down. That's a great tackle at the five-yard line. Fumble. And they 
fall on the loose ball. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball. Fumble. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Oregon is up by a touchdown. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own nine. The Cougars running back. He was injured early. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Catches it, and that's all. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Vincent is the deep man awaiting the return. And down he goes at the 47 yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's hit before he could go anywhere. He goes out of bounds around the 31 yard line. That brings him second and five. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From the 31-yard line, it's third down. Steps up in the pocket and sacks. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So at the end of one quarter, the Ducks lead 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. King is hoping to boom this one down the field. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Oregon is up seven. He's out to the 30, and they make the stop around the 34-yard line. around the 46-yard line. He 
fights forward to about the 49. around the 47 yard line more plays like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes you can't allow the defense to play in your backfield third down and they need to get it inside the 44 defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide throws it out and it falls incomplete sure it's disappointing but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching travel over the country people want to talk about offense oh the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points it's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense and when it's all said and done the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason have this kind of defense and he's taken down at the 31 yard line that's a game of time First down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. Anderson brings him down at the 46 yard line. That makes it first and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's tackled right away. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four yards. First down. Got it, and brought down immediately. Perrell brings him down at the 34-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down right around the 24-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. Steps out of bounds around the 20-yard line. That makes it second and six. They failed out here the last two times. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. immediately tackled. Smith picks up around five yards with that catch, and that'll keep the chain gang moving. And this quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. It's the 11th play of the drive. Stop your body. 
He's going right. And it falls incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. So the review confirms the call down on the field. The receiver was out of bounds. Gets it out to him again. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. And this is the 14th play of the drive. They line up in the jumbo set. Touchdown, Washington State. He's blocking backs to a lot of dirty work during the game, so it's good to reward them. Let him barrel it in for a score once in a while. Boy, and that took some second effort against that goal line defense. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Sooners took the field ranked 14th in the nation and hoping that an impressive win could move them higher in the standings. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oklahoma, they used their potent ground attack to find their way into the end zone. And for Price, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. The Sooners are out front, 30 to 14. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Bennett looks ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. Tackle made at the 31. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws incomplete. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw. Tackle around the 43-yard line. Throws it out there. He's hit and taken down. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 33-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. It's a good job by the defense to remain aggressive and minimize the yardage on that run. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Austin was the intended receiver on the way. That brings us third and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check back 45. Check back 45. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He scrambled. He's got the corner. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A nice seven play 68 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he just got drilled. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires it out. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Tackle made at the 46. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on the 46. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. We play to half. Oregon leads 14 7. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports SEW 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Brought down to the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. First down. to his receiver and down he goes at the 33 yard line parks on the tackle at the 33 yard line that'll make it second and inches check Mike 34 Mike 34 hey D-line let's get in there let's get in there that's a D-line four on one play first down Receivers got the first down, and he's taken down at about the 11. Anderson on the tackle at the 11 yard line. First down. Larry, Larry. He's out. 34 is the fight. 34 is the fight. Keep it up. 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 Keep it up.
They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. Anderson brings him down at the three-yard line. That makes it second So it's second down and about two yards to go. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Cougars. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And you can feel the intensity and emotion in this stadium. This one has been an amazing battle. And we're right back to square one, assuming this extra point ties it. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 70-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. 14 apiece. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Has some daylight. Makes it out to about the 46. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. hit before he can go anywhere. Makes it out to about the 33. here he's gonna scramble brought down at the 14 From the 10 yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Oregon could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 24. Right game so far, what we expected. He's a star. He's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. And he's done everything we expected and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to take a game over. And, you know, we've seen it all year with him. Uh, it's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today. But it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He always seems to be able to be in command of this offense. And uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down.
Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He gets rid of this one. to go long and does. Tackle at the 31 yard line. First down. gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the one thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Touchdown. He's got 300 yards passing now. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him and then some. He makes the PAT. Duckett takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ready! Wide 80! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. on the screen. He's tackled at about the 41. That makes it 37. Scrambling around. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 21-17, Washington State. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. So this game tight here in the fourth quarter, but now it's a chance for them to put this thing away. 
Washington State is up by four. There's a strike complete. And he is drilled at the 44. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. He makes the stop at the 12-yard line. First down. Larry, Larry. First down. Mike. 34's the mic. He's coming. Check in. Check in. Crunch time. Defense. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Jones is going to take the on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Washington State is up four. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the five. This one should be. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 19. Oregon's been doing special things on offense all season long, and not today. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Oh, I didn't expect to see this at all. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Tackled for a loss. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 15. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at the 28-yard line. Makes it out to about the 36. Just over two minutes in the game. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. scrambling he's brought down in the open field
Now he tries to buy some time. It's a fumble. And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. The Ducks and their fans, they're going to have a long time before they forget the end of this game. Well, this is a tough loss for them. But on the other hand, how about the defense on the other side coming up with a big play to be able to get this victory for them? You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll work the right side. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Oregon's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 33. He's got an opening. He gets to about the 41-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. First down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Gets out to about the 31. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. Takes the ball in, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Two times, two times. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 24-17, Cougars. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.